Hey everybody, Alex Terrace, healthhacksreview.com. So this video is gonna be on uh, J&H Lifestyles sauna, infrared sauna. Uh, you may have run across it in your research. I'm just basically showing in this video a customer, I shouldn't even say customer, it was basically somebody that reached out to me, uh, sent me a message on my website and said, hey, do you know the EMF levels of various different brands of saunas? Um, and potentially they may be a customer of mine or not, um, but at this point they had let me know that they had purchased a JNH Lifestyle Sauna. Um, they had tested it with their EMF meter, uh, which again is easy to pick those up that test electromagnetic frequencies. You can get them off Amazon if you want to test different devices around your house or test some infrared saunas you might own. But anyways, um, they had tested it and essentially found out uh, for the sauna that they purchased from JNH off Amazon. Uh, that the EMF levels were higher uh, than they had expected. Um, so all I'm doing in this video is just showing uh, one of these consumers um, have tested it and uh, this is the levels that they found. Um, hopefully in a future video uh, this year I'll actually be testing um, a couple of their different models myself. I have not done that yet, but I just wanted to share this video so you can all take a look. Um, so here they are just with the EMF meter. Um, and uh, there's, it's just a good distance from the, the heater right now. So they're just kind of showing a baseline, right? There was a little bit of a fluctuation there. So there's the emitter right there, as you can see. Um, and now they're about to turn it on. And so the sauna is now officially on, okay? Uh, just put the time up to seven minutes because the video is kind of long, but I'll skip through it, so don't worry. I'll just show you some of the numbers. So it's still at this distance, by the way, uh, a meter that is uh, at least six to eight or so inches away from an EMF source like heater will generally show zero or nothing. But you're of course sitting a lot closer to these heaters. So here he is moving a little bit closer um, and he's showing 63, 70, 74, 80. Um, and of course you would be sitting this close in most saunas. Um, and actually even still, uh, so he's going by the by the, 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 the quarters. That's actually going 200. That, that's actually 200 plus milligauss. Um, now he's going a few inches out. Generally, a person wouldn't be seated a few inches out. You, most people lean right up against the wall. It's going to be a little higher in most saunas, by the way, um, when you're around the corner frames area, because that's where a lot of the wires are. Here he is more in front of the emitter, and we're still getting like 40, 50, 70, 100. Um, these are definitely some hot spots, 200 plus. Uh, he's moving across the panel now, uh, 21, 20, 19 in the middle of it. Uh, interesting, it's actually quite high. Uh, oh wait, it's hard sometimes to tell if he's a few inches away or not. Um, so let's see here, he's going up. I think he's a few inches away now, um, so we should expect to see lower levels. Checking the corners of the sauna. I'm just gonna skip ahead here. Um, again, near the edges, so your body generally will still be where these levels are. Your body will still be exposed to that, um, just based off of how wide a person's body is per, per this panel. Um, so you can't really uh, sit in the center of it um, and be away from that. He's a few inches away, by the way, right here for this test. Again, when he gets up close on to the heater itself, it's a lot higher. Um, so let's see here. Still a few inches away, um, so not really realistic. Um, so we're getting we're in the twenties, I think, in some of the center pieces of the emitter panel. Um, that's yeah that's that's interesting though he's still getting 20 and, nine, and 18 at a few inches away again most people lean right up against it um, but there we're also getting uh, 80s it's kind of just all over the place it's 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 hard to say um, but overall I just wanted to show this video um, and I'm gonna stop this right now I just wanted to show the video uh, simply because this was a customer that shared this with me and of course, as JNH advertises, um, they're extremely low EMF 
or no EMF. I know they have an NC uh, model that they just um, came out with uh, at some point. Uh, that's supposed to be lower EMF. They currently have a couple different models. Um, and so this is not their NC model. It's their other, other, other one. Uh, anyways, doesn't quite match up with their claims. Basically, is my conclusion from this video that this person had sent me. Uh, and uh, part of the purpose of this video, too, is if you have any EMF checks that you've done on this particular brand, I would love to get that video, and I can post it up. Um, if you've gotten any different tests for JNH or different results, again, please send it my way. I'll post it. You can do it anonymously. As you can see, it's just a hand. We don't know who this person is. Um, I would do it anonymously, of course, for you. And if you've ever experienced this uh, with any other brand out there that you've tested and it was different than what the claims were um, or the certifications or whatever, um, please send it my way. Just in trying to get some transparency out there in the industry and share better quality information. So if you found this video helpful, please like this video. You're always welcome to subscribe for updates from my channel. And if you have any quick questions about infrared saunas or even if you need quotes, um, you can always send me a chat on my website, my live chat. You can call me on the phone and you can always send me an email and I'll always try to get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching.